Hey, what's up? This is Chatura from AntiVFX and in this video we are going to take a look at how to record new audio into a multi-track session. Right, so we are going to create a new multi-track session inside Audition and directly record Audition, uh, sorry, directly record audio into a multi-track. Uh, so let's create the first multi-track session. You can go to File, New and uh, New Multi-Track Session. You can use the keyboard shortcut too, right? So you can uh, give a session name. Let's say uh, VO test. And uh, you can select a folder, right? So all the recorded files uh, inside into a multi-tracks uh, will be stored here. So select a folder here based on your requirements. In here you have option to select templates. Uh, you can see a uh, 24 track music session, film sequence, surround, film sequence, stereo, podcast. Uh, those are predefined template with certain tracks and certain EQ effects. You can use uh, those uh, templates uh, based on your work. But in here, I'm going to create a select none and it will create uh, default uh, five tracks uh, multi-track session and uh, I'm go with that option. Here you can select the sample rate, uh, you can select uh, 48 or 44 kilohertz. So 32 bit, uh, that's the best quality select. Always go for that bit depth and you can select uh, whether you want to final mix, uh, master or final mix uh, into a stereo or mono or 5.1 track. So select the master track here. So I select a stereo, I click OK. Now you get this uh, window and this is the multi-track editor inside Adobe Audition. You can see there are multiple tracks, right? So track number one, two, three, and uh, you can scroll down and you can select, see the master track here. You can uh, use control, uh, you can plus icon and minus uh, button in the keyboard to zoom uh, in and out. And you can use the mouse scroll wheel uh, inside this uh, track header to zoom the track right so like this you can use uh, these uh, controls to move between upper tracks and lower tracks so just familiar with the navigation and you can use these uh, zoom controls uh, as always uh, as we used in this uh, in the waveform editor you can use these uh, controls to navigate uh, between tracks so let's take a look at how to record audio to a track so in order to record audio to a multi, uh, in, in, into a track inside multi-track, uh, just we need to enable recording. You can uh, see this button arm for record. You can uh, click on that and now the track is enabled for recording. If you want to hear what you say while recording, you can turn on the uh, monitor input and you can plug the headphones and you can monitor what you say. As well as uh, you can add, add, add uh, some kind of effects to your uh, voice uh, recording track and you can uh, real you can listen to that effect uh, real time if you turn on the uh, monitor right so I'm going to turn off that monitoring process uh, but uh, you can use this uh, monitoring uh, as necessary so I turn off that so now you cannot uh, see the monitoring so I remove this uh, dynamic effect right so now we have turned on the track for recording and you can use this uh, start record button here as usual to start the recording. Okay, now we are recording into this uh, multi-track session and you can see the audio is recording. Once you finish, use this uh, stop button and we now just uh, recorded the audio into a uh, track inside multi-track session. Okay, now we are recording into this. Uh, so, so that's a pretty simple process. So you can directly record audio into multi-track uh, like this. So if you haven't subscribed to AntiVFX, uh, subscribe to AntiVFX and I'll be back with another exciting Adobe Audition tutorial. Thanks.